Cold air continues to invade the eastern two-thirds of the country, but warm temperatures continue across the southwest. We'll have all the details here on Weather Center. Glenn, you could join me. I'm Jen Carfagno here with your weekend weather, and we will get started with your weather highlights for Saturday. Looking at a lot of cold air still in place across the east, some snow showers possible across the upper Midwest, and some warm conditions still for us across parts of the west. But we will get started first with a look at that Arctic air here pouring down into the southeast, including all the way into Florida. Look at some of these forecasts there. Orlando, 31 degrees, your expected low, only reaching a high of 56 degrees. We do have freeze warnings in effect all across the region, and we will see some pretty gusty winds with uh, that will create wind chills, driving down the feels like temperature even further. So in Nashville, 16 in Atlanta, 13 in Birmingham. This is by far the coldest air we have seen so far this season. Let's look at some of these forecasts here as we head into the Gulf Coast area. Tallahassee, 18 degrees on Saturday, 23 on Sunday in Mobile. Cold air here as well. Temperatures only in the teens and 20s across much of the region here into the northeast. We, were, we did reach the freezing mark in Washington on Friday. Now as we look here at the overnight period, a lot of clear skies across the region. Temperatures are dropping. We could see the chance for some light snow across the mountains, but otherwise things are fairly quiet out here. It's the cold air that continues to be a places. With that, you could see the possibility of frostbite within 15 to 30 minutes. So with these very cold wind chills, you do want to take some caution. Not a good idea to spend a lot of time out. We'll see a bit of a warm up on Sunday, but then right back down into the cold air. So let's look at the Midwest and talk about the story here. We have 